Hey everyone, welcome to another How to Webflow. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to send Dribble posts from your Dribble account over to your Webflow project and publish it live all automatically using a third party tool called Zapier. All right, here we go. All right, now before we begin, you'll need to sign up for a free Zapier account over at zapier.com. Now, if you're not familiar with Zapier yet, it's this cool third party application where you can send data from one platform and send it to another all automatically. All right, so we're going to start by fixing up our Webflow collection. All right, so we're going to start with a blank Webflow site. First thing I need to do is create a CMS collection and we're going to call this dribble shots. All right. So I'll need a name, a slug, uh, and an image. Okay. And let's call this the shot. And Oh, one more thing. Let's go ahead and have a link that goes to that actual, uh, dribble shot on dribble. So link to dribble page. Okay. Create collection and we're done. Now let's go ahead and we need to publish this site live. That way the data can go inside of here. So Zapier will know that, oh, this is a real live site. All right. So if you don't do this, you'll run into an error on Zapier. So don't forget to publish. All right, now let's go into Zapier. Now, if this is your first time going to Zapier, it'll look kind of like this. The first thing you want to do is click on make a zap. And this brings you to the Zapier editor. All right. Now let's go ahead and look for dribble by typing in dribble. Okay. And we're going to leave everything as is. So what it's happening is it's choosing a trigger event. There's only one. So when you post a new shot, Zapier will know about it. All right press continue. And now you'll need to log into your dribble account. You need to connect dribble with Zapier. After you do that, you'll get this blue continue button and we're going to click on test and review. And so the testing is Zapier looking for data on your dribble account. Okay. Now, if you have a new dribble account and you have no shots on it yet, then it'll error out. You need to have um, a shot or two already inside of your account. All right. For me, I have uh, a couple of shots and here's this one right here. Um, and this is what Zapier is actually pulling. It's pulling all this data from the dribble database and it's going to ask you, uh, where do you want to send this data to? Okay. So this is, this is pretty cool. Now I'm going to click on done editing. I'm going to do this. And now where do I want to send this data to? I'm going to type in Webflow, and I'm going to choose the action event, create live item, press continue. And now I'm going to connect my Webflow account. I'm going to look for the site called PG dribble demo, find the collection I just created dribble shots. And now this is the most powerful part about Zapier. Where do I want to send the data? Okay. And so if I click on this button right here for the shot, I'm going to use images high DPI. Okay. And for the link to the dribble page, all I have to do is find the HTML URL. And for the name, I'm just going to use title. All right. And last two things, archived, no draft, no continue. And I'm going to go ahead and press test and review. And there we go. Now, if I look at this page, if I go back to Webflow and refresh, you'll see that in my collection, there's one item. And the item is all that data that I pulled from dribble. Pretty cool, huh? So usually you would have to code all this up, but no Zapier gives you the option. Uh, Zapier gives you the no code way to pull data from another platform into your Webflow site. Now, 
it's just up to me to design it however I want. So let's go ahead and just create a, a basic collection list. Um, uh, yeah, a basic collection list look. Okay. So I'm going to choose the choose the data source for dribble shots. Um, side note, pro tip: don't ever use these layout controls. Okay, keep it as full width, and instead, go to your collection list and click on grid. This will make it easier for you to create columns and style them however you need and size them however you need. Okay. All right, so now that's done. I can style this uh, with a link block. And let's go ahead and this link block will point to the dribble page. And let's go ahead and put an image inside of there. Get image from dribble shots. Get the shot. And there we go. And yeah style it however you want from from this point on I can go ahead and try to do another test inside of dribble go to find shot B and then go to go here done editing go to back to setup send data and I'm gonna retest refresh this page and check that out now I have two I can publish this and I'm done that's simple style it however you want so you can have your own custom dribble page this is great for your portfolios um, or agency portfolios yeah go to town with this have fun and when you're done with your zap don't forget to turn it on all right, so from this point on, whenever I post something inside of my Dribble account, it'll go to this page and it'll publish it live all automatically. All right, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have a comment about this video, please leave it below. Or if you have an idea for a future tutorial, I'd love to hear what you want to learn. So leave all that information below and I'll see you in the next video. All right, and as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.